Hello food fans, we're going to have a comparison taste test, good tasting meal here today. This could be either a lunch, a filling lunch, or a uh, very filling supper if you decide to eat all the food I'm going to show you here today. We've got a can of Dinty Moore beef stew and a can of Kroger's beef stew. And the uh, weight on the Kroger is, uh, what is that, 38 ounces, I guess. And the weight on the Dinty Moore, where is it, over here, 38 ounces. So they're the same size. The Kroger beef stew cost $3.49, and the Dinty Moore was $4.99, so $3.50 versus $5.00. And we will see if one does taste better than the other. I had Dinty Moore beef stew a lot when I was a kid and I loved it. Still enjoy it. And uh, we will start cooking them. All I'm going to do is cook each one to a uh, simmering temperature and then taste it without adding anything to it because it's a taste test of the beef stew. But I will be using some biscuits maybe to sop up the good tasting beef stew and the beef and, and the biscuits cost uh, 50 cents for a can but I'll be using half a can so 25 cents worth of biscuits and I think it's time that we get started. There's the Kroger beef stew and it is in the pan and I will be heating it up and it is very very thick as you can see and the directions do say just to Put it in a saucepan, medium heat, and until it starts simmering. Let's look at the Dinty Moor. Can it be any thicker than that? Apparently, it can. Slide this down there. What we have here, with the spoon, this is so thick that it hasn't even um, watered itself down to the saucepan bottom. That is thick. Dinty more. Pretty thick. We'll let that heat and I'll cook the biscuits. And the way I'm serving this today, the Kroger beef stew on this side Kroger beef stew lunch meal costs five dollars fifty one cents, and the Dinty Moore over here costs seven dollars and one penny. And we do have uh, some secret ingredients. I'll show you the first one here. I'll get the spoon out of the way, and we'll put in our secret ingredient number one, which is a salad. And the type of salad, coleslaw. I do like my coleslaw. And uh, this costs two dollars forty-nine cents for the entire package. I'll be using less than one fifth of the package, so we'll say fifty cents for coleslaw. And there's another secret ingredient coming up, and we will find that later. And the Dinny Moore beef stew is simmering away, and the Kroger beef stew is simmering away. I will serve the Kroger beef stew in this rectangular dish and I'll serve the um, Dinty Moore in the round dish. And the biscuits are ready. And they both look pretty much the same, and they smell very good. Start off with the uh, taste of the slaw. Just taste, but for right now, I'll eat more later. Slaw is very good. And now we will go to the Dinty Moor, since it is the name brand. And I'll take a biscuit and do the dunk test first with Dinty Moore. There's a Dinty Moore biscuit that's been dunked in the stew. It's 
not any more biscuit until I dunked it. And it's very good. It's hard to tell the difference between these two as far as looking at them. They both have bite-sized chunks of potatoes, carrots, beef, and plenty of gravy. Very hot still after simmering on the stove. This is a very wholesome meal, probably very good for this time of year, the winter in the United States. Denny Moore tastes like I remember it tasting. A lot of beef flavor in there. Try some of the vegetables, carrots, and potatoes. Very good, and if you ever decided to have uh, what I'm having here, the Kroger and Dindy Moore, you could probably serve four people, including the dessert that I'll show you later on, the secret dessert, for um, four, four people probably would be about $15. Any more is quite good. Now, does Kroger rank as highly? Kroger has some gravy there. The chunks of carrots and potatoes in this particular can seem to be a little bit smaller than Denny Moore. and fewer per square inch and there's fewer in the can good tasting with beef any more gravy tastes better I think Very close. Kroger Studio appears to have smaller chunks of beef and potatoes. And it tastes good, but I would give the edge in taste to Dinty Moore at this time. back to Denny Moore. You know, the chunks of uh, Denny Moore are larger in size. Both stews are very, very tender. meat is not tough at all. I'll try a Kroger taste with the same biscuit. Very good. Kroger wins on value, lower priced. I mean, it's almost as good as Denny Moore, but I would say that Denny Moore tastes a little bit better. It tastes some more of my slaw.
Kroger makes good slaw. I have a sip of root beer and I'll show you the secret dessert. The dessert per person adds a dollar and seven cents per meal, but boy is it worth it. I'll show you. Here is the dessert. It is blueberry pie. Is blueberry, pie. blueberry pie. I cut it into quarters, four slices, in a pie that costs four dollars twenty-nine cents at Kroger. I will temporarily move the uh, beef stew out of the way so you can watch me eat a slice, not the entire slice. I'll just eat part of the slice of pie here. Four dollars twenty-nine cents. Blueberry pie. Blueberry pie is very, very good. One of my favorites. I like all kinds of pie though. Banana cream, chocolate, apple, and blueberry. This goes good with beef stew on these cold days. Let me take a bite of blueberry pie. Get one more bite before I go back to the beef stew. This is a good meal. A little bit expensive, but uh, worth it. Uh, Seven dollars and one cents is the price if you use the Denty Moore beef stew for one serving. Thank you for watching. Back to the studio.